Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today in this video we will learn how to create business mail for your business for free. If you don't have any web hosting or if you have a only domain name, you can create it for your business without any web hosting. Then I will show you how to fix VPS email issue or if you have a cPanel, if your email not working, you can use it. First of all, I will show you how to create these custom emails and integrate these emails to your WordPress website or any PHP script. Then you can easily fix your email sending issue for your WordPress website or any PHP script. Like if someone order from your WooCommerce website and your email notification is not sending, you can easily fix this issue using Joho Mail SMTP server. And I will show you step by step how to configure and how to use Joho Mail service. First of all, you can search Joho Mail from Google search for Joho Mail and you can visit this page Joho Mail. Also you can use MailJet, SendinBlue and another platform for your email solution. But in this video I will show you how to use Joho Mail. So just click on this link. Then you will see this Joho Mail homepage and from here you can check Joho Mail pricing. Then you will see this pricing page and it has three types of plans and you will get 5 GB per user and you will get these features at $1 but I don't want to use this plan I wanna use free forever plan then you will get 5 GB per user for free and web access and free mobile apps you can use Joho Mail mobile apps and email hosting for single domain but you can create multiple email address from your single domain so I wanna sign up my account, just click on sign up now and then type your name, email address and password. So I am typing my information and typing my email address and typing my password to log in to log in my Joho mail account. Then click on this button sign up. So type a strong password then verify your email address so i wanna verify my gmail address and check your uh, gmail id or email id and as you can see we have got a uh, verification code uh, just copy this code from here and go back to your joho mail uh, registration option and paste it over here then click on it then you will see this page then you can buy domain name from here or if you have existing domain you can easily connect to your domain name let's click on add now then type your domain name but I have purchased a domain name from namechip.com you can buy domain name from godaddy or another provider I wanna use this domain and if you don't have any domain name you can uh, search from namechip so I will give you this link in the video description box below to buy a new domain name type your domain name and click on search button and you will see this domain name and if you get is available you can buy from here or you can choose another extension from here you can choose your favorite domain extension from here and then click on add to cart and buy this domain using your debit credit or pen or or any mastercard or paypal account then go back to your namechip dashboard and copy this domain name from here then go back to your joho mail and paste it over here then type your organization or company name and select your industry tribe from here then click on the add new button then wait a few seconds and as you can see we have successfully added our domain name then click on this button proceed to domain verification using some dns records don't worry i will show you step by step how to use this record if you use cloudflare's dns log in your cloudflare account then put this dns option from your cloudflare dns section go to uh, cloudflare and go to dns records and you can add your records from here if you don't use cloudflare dns you can go to your namechip account then click on manage from your domain name and from here you will get some different of name server option just select namechip basic dns from here and if you select it you can easily manage your dns from advanced dns or if you are a cpanel user you can select it namechip web hosting dns then you can manage your dns from your uh, control panel if you select it just uh, go to your cpanel from uh, namechip if you are a cpanel user and uh, scroll down and go to your domain section okay and from the domain section just click on zone editor 
and you can edit your uh, domain names for example i want to use this uh, domain name and i want to copy and paste this domain name in uh, joho mail and configure it then you can click on manage then you can easily add and delete your dns records uh, from here but i have configured my domain name to cloud player i want to add this text record in my cloud player dns section then go back to Cloudflare DNS section, then click on add record, then paste your DNS record, uh, text record, our records type text record, so select uh, text and uh, type at the rate of, and then copy this DNS value or text value, then go back to Cloudflare DNS section and type at the rate of or type your domain name, then select uh, record type, so we need to select uh, text record from here and finally paste the text below over here just paste it and then save this option click on save and go back to your joho mail and click on this button verify text record we need to verify this record sometime you have to add 15 to 30 minutes and as you can see we have successfully verified our domain ownership and wait a few seconds and we need to create our first mail from here so you can type admin support or info anything whatever you want just type admin and our email address will be admin at the rate of domain.com then click on this button create also you can create multiple email address i will show you later how to create it and from the next phase you can create multiple user or multiple email and as you can see support at our domain.com and this is my admin mail and if you want to add new email just click on add and type your first name last name and username uh, like info at your domain.com then generate your new password from here then click on add button and you can add new email or user from here then go to the next step and we need to set up our group so you can skip this option uh, i don't want to set up group i wanna uh, go to next step proceed to dns and again we need to add some dns records from our dns provider so just copy these dns records and go back to your cloud player account so i wanna delete my existing uh, dns or mx record from here just uh, click on delete and delete all records from here mx record i wanna add joho mail mx record so i have successfully deleted these records and uh, again go back to your uh, joho mail and copy these mx records from here just uh, copy the mx record mx.joho.com and make it priority 10 okay so uh, click on add records and select mx from here then type your domain name or type at the rate and add the mx record below type mx.joho.com okay then uh, make it priority 10 because of our mx record priority is 10 uh, from joho following the same process i wanna add mx2 uh, and priority 20 and mx3 so i have successfully added these records to our cloudflare dns option then uh, go to the next option spf record we need to uh, add spf record just copy it from here click on copy and we need to add uh, text record so just uh, click on add record and uh, select your uh, type record type from here uh, select text and paste your uh, domain name or type at the rate then paste your spf record value then click on save okay we have added this value and record then click on okay and following the same process we need to add domain key from here then click on save and we have successfully added all of records then click on verify all records and wait a few seconds and we have successfully added and verified all records and you can migrate your data but i want to skip it i want to go to next step and you can use their mobile apps and you can download their mobile apps from here and you can use joho mail mobile apps so i will show you later how to use mobile apps of joho mail finally click on this button proceed to setup completion and as you can see we have successfully completed our setup 
process okay and then you can uh, go to the admin console or you can check your email box so i want to check my email or inbox uh, click on this uh, button then you will be redirected to your primary admin email inbox from here you can check your mail and if someone sent any mail to your business mail you can easily read your all mails from here also you can compose any mail from here just click on new mail and you can easily send any mail to another email just type your gmail address or your customer mail address so i'm typing my uh, gmail address and type your mail subject i'm not test this mail uh, just type your email content and all of thing then click on send button then check your gmail account i want to check my test mail and open this mail and as you can see we have successfully get this mail from our business mail or custom mail then you can easily reply your mail from here you also you can uh, click on compose and uh, type your business mail uh, send your mail to your business mail or your customer can reply to you then click on this button send and you can check this mail from your joho mail and open this mail from here and as you can see we have successfully got this mail from our gmail account so you can show these contents images and all of thing uh, but it hide for security purpose you can show it uh, following the same process and next i want to show you how to log in your joho mail uh, from your mobile application and how to download these mobile apps from your mobile and I will show you how to check or send your email from your Joho Mail mobile application. So let's open your mobile or Android and open Play Store apps and search for Joho Mail. And click on the search button. And as you can see, we have got uh, Joho Mail calendar. So just uh, open these apps and install it from your mobile and open it. And click on the sign in button okay and wait a few second and as you can see we have got the sign in page so i'm going to log in my custom mail support at our domain.com and typing my password so i have set this password i want to copy this password from here and paste it over here then click on sign in button and as you can see we have successfully logged our account and as you can see this is our inbox then you can check all emails from here you can read emails and send emails from your mobile application and you can log in your multiple emails from here okay that's it and go back to your joho mail website and next i will show you how to connect your joho mail email to your gmail address or your wordpress or php website using joho mail smtp just click on uh, settings icon from your gmail account then click on see all settings so then click on accounts and import and as you can see we have added some email and then click on this option and you can add your joho mail business account uh, from here then you can select your business mail from here and you can send any mail from your gmail account using your business mail and following the same process you can connect your wordpress website and use uh, wordpress smtp plugin so i'll show you how to use smtp and how to you know, fix email issue for wordpress website or any php script if you have contact from or another from you can easily fix it using wordpress smtp and not sending issue just go to plugins and click on add new and you can active any smtp plugin just search for smtp but personally i love uh, fluent smtp plugin because of it support multiple smtp configuration let's install this plugin then click on activate to active this plugin and click on the button or you can go to settings and click on fluent smtp then you can select your favorite smtp provider so i am using joho mail and i will use other smtp or custom smtp just let's click on custom smtp then type your email address and type your all information over here so how to find this information just go to your joho mail and click on the user icon and go to the option admin console so this is our primary email so from the primary email you will get this uh, button uh, admin console then uh, this is our domain name and we have two organization or two email address 
so we have created this email address and you can add multiple email address or another email address from here uh, type first name last name and username then go to dashboard and you can see all of thing from here and let's click on mail settings and click on tools and configurations then click on configurations and from here you will get SMTP configuration and as you can see we have got our all configuration information and uh, let's copy this SMTP outgoing server and go back to your WordPress dashboard and paste it in the SMTP host field and type your SMTP port so our SMTP port is 465 for SSL or you can uh, type or paste 587 let's paste it in this field and select TLS from here not select SSL then paste your from email so our from email is our business mail so you can type your own business name uh, just to go to your email or organization option from your Joho mail admin console and I want to connect this email address let's copy this email address from here support at your domain.com and paste it over here from email address okay that's it and type your from name you can type your business name or anything don't worry and I scroll down and our SMTP username is our business mail copy it from here and paste your SMTP username then type your SMTP password or email password so we have created this password from our business mail then click on this button so we have saved this option then click on the email test uh, tab and select your from email and uh, type your email address you can type any email address or gmail id to test your uh, test mail i am typing my gmail id then click on this button but we have got this error because of this is our port issue just go to settings option and click on the pencil icon and scroll down let's select tls if you set 5874 then save this configuration then again go to the email test option and send your test mail from here and uh, check your gmail id then open this mail or check this mail from here and as you can see we have successfully configured our mail or smdb and as you can see we have got this mail from our uh, custom mail that means our email smdb is working now and following the same process you can add your multiple uh, provider or multiple email just click on this option add another configuration and you can easily add or configure your business mail then you can easily use this mails for your contact from or another provider like if you are a WooCommerce user or if you have an online store you can easily configure for your WooCommerce website just go to WooCommerce and click on settings then click on the emails tab from here you can easily customize your uh, order notification mail and if someone order and you will get email notification to the email address as an admin so you can modify it also you have to set from email from the email sender options and type from email so if someone order from your website and you will get email from this email address and also your customer will get email notification from the email address so you can type your custom mail or business mail uh, like order at your uh, domain.com but must you have to create this email from your joho mail then configure this mail from the fluent smtp then type your custom mail over here but I have created this email from our Joho mail that's why I am typing support at the root of our domain.com then type your from name and save this configuration from here you can change the base color and anything so following this video you can fix your email notification issue for your VPS hosting or another server and create your business mail for free thanks for watching this video if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the YouTube channel